Hello students. I am going to describe how to make a scatter plot in a Google spreadsheet. This is a type of graph that we will use throughout the year. So this screencast here should be useful to you when referring back to um, the way to make a uh, scatter plot in Google spreadsheets. So what I have in the spreadsheet is some fake data, fake height versus shoe size for um, some people that actually don't exist. I just made these numbers up, all right? But height is my independent variable, and so I have put it in the first column, and shoe size is my dependent variable, so I put it in the second column. So I'm trying to see, does shoe size depend on height? Are shoe size and height related to one another? So in order to investigate this question, I am going to make a scatter plot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the data there, and I'm going to click on this little button that says Insert Chart. So as you can see in the little um, data window there showing my data range, I've selected A1 through B14. So that's where my, my data was entered. So that looks good. And I am going to go to Chart Types. And if I scroll down, I see Scatter Chart. Okay, so there's my scatter chart right there, but I want to do some more stuff to it. I want to customize it. So I go over to customization and I want to give my horizontal axis a title. Okay, so this is um, my independent variable. So this is height in meters. And I also want to give my left vertical axis, my dependent variable, shoe size. And I'm just putting USA to indicate that it's the American conventions for shoe size. So I've labeled my axes. Okay. And the last thing that I want to do here is I want to add a trend line. Right now it has none, but based upon the way that this graph appears to me, I'm going to select linear trend line. And when I select linear, I actually have the ability to scroll down a little bit more. And for the label, rather than custom, I'm going to say use equation, that's going to actually show me the equation for the line. When I see this other option here that says show R squared, this is going to show me a statistical calculation um, called the co coefficient of determinacy. So that's telling me something about the strength of the relationship between my independent and dependent variable. So when I say insert, it show, my graph shows up right there. Okay, so now I have some information that I can use to um, make the decision of whether height versus shoe size are, uh, are related to one another. Now, this is an example of a graph that shows a, a strong relationship based upon the fact that the R squared is 0.9. The closer the R squared value is, the stronger the evidence is that there is a relationship between your independent variable and your dependent variable. However, I'm gonna plug in some more fake data on the fly here. I'm gonna say test scores. Okay, I'm gonna say out of 100. And we're going to investigate whether these fake test scores that I make up, so I'm gonna say 100, 40, 35, 76, 29, etc. So I'm going to plug in all of these scores, and we're going to see if there is a relationship between height and test scores. I don't want to use the same number there, so I'll say like 39. Harder to make up non-sequential numbers on the fly than one would think. And 50. Okay. So now. I want to make a, uh, a graph of height versus test scores. 
So you have to be a little bit careful doing this in Google Spreadsheets. So I'm going to again say insert chart. But now, because I'm using columns that aren't next to one another, I can't just highlight it. So I need to go to select data range. And so then I get this little box that says what data. So I will select column A. So that gives me my x-axis, my independent variable. And then I will select column C. Gives me my y-axis, my dependent variable. And then I will, again, go to chart types for a scatter plot. And I will customize it again. I will label my horizontal axis the same thing. In meters. And then I will label my vertical axis test scores. That's out of 100. Now I'm going to go down to my trend line and make there be a linear trend line. Show R squared and label the equation. Okay. So I am finished. So I will insert that. And now if we look at this graph, we see that the R squared is a very low number that is far away from one, suggesting that there is not strong evidence that height and test scores are related. So those are two examples of uh, scatter plots, one showing good evidence for a relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable, and one showing little evidence for there being a relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable. That is all.